hello welcome back or if you're new welcome to my channel my name is azure santos and as you see it is nail time madam glam of course another collaboration and this was a surprise pr package from madam glam and i am so excited about this now these nails are from my previous collaboration with madam glam definitely check out that video i'll leave the link here so you can check that out after you watch this video but i am so excited about this because again this was a surprise package from madam glam i had no idea they were sending me another package and i'm just so excited so let's get right into this and oh my goodness look at this would you look at this i am so excited to get my hands into these colors and if you don't know this is how the packaging come and i absolutely adore the packaging with this little foam cushion inside the box but i'm so excited and i'm just gonna take these nails off because halloween is over so we're gonna get into these beautiful new polishes from house of giving okay first color we have is pure nature and this is a beautiful green color. How beautiful. Then we have purple error. And this is a beautiful magenta color. So beautiful. Then we have autumn aura beautiful name I love the names that they named these bottles oh what a beautiful peachy pink so pretty then we have Milky Way and this is like a white gray color so pretty then we have Astro Pie. I love that name so much. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is like a rustic color. I love this beautiful fall color. Then we have Astro Projection. I swear I love these names. Oh. This is such a beautiful blue. Wow. Would you look at that? All right. And then we have Divine Glam. Some of these polishes are just so hard to open. Okay. And that is such a pretty purple. It's like a deep purple so pretty and then we have scorpion season because it is november and november is scorpion season and this one is a beautiful deep blue well this is just as pretty as the other blue wow i'm so excited all right now let's get to swatching and if you don't know already, Madam Glam is vegan, cruelty-free, 21-free formula of toxic chemicals, palm oil-free, and hemma-free. And if you want to start your nail journey, I suggest getting your hand on Madam Glam's gel polishes. It is such an amazing brand. I absolutely adore the polishes. They're just amazing. And you can also get 35% off your total order at Madam Glam with my coupon code Azure Santos. And I'll leave that link down in the description below and the instructions down below. So all you have to do is press that link and it sends you to their website. And at the end of checkout, you make sure you press VIP if you want to become a VIP member. If you don't want to become a VIP member, you can just choose pay, pay as you go and put that coupon.
coupon code azure35 and i'll leave all that in the description below okay let's get right into some swatches first we're gonna first we're gonna remove these nails and then get into some swatches okay so i went ahead and did the swatches now when i did the swatches i did a top coat and a matte coat like a shiny top coat and a matte coat so you can see the difference of how it looks with the top and matte coat All right. trying to make it to focus I honestly love how some of these colors look with that matte top coat especially this blue with that matte top coat it is so pretty and this orange looks so beautiful definitely fall vibes and I love it all right I'm gonna take these off now and put some new nails Let's focus put some new nails on and create a beautiful all set with these polishes continue watching and also don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already okay so right now I'm currently applying my tips as you see I did apply a base coat and a peel off base coat so that way whenever I'm ready to take off these nails I could take them off but I am doing the dupe gel X currently and I just want to show you real quick how I apply these nails so I'm gonna grab my nail glue and then I'm gonna brush them on where I believe my nail is going to be and then I scrape off the excess product on that brush and then from the cuticle down at a 45 degree angle I'm gonna push and I'm gonna cure that under my ghost neck lamp I apologize it's not frame. I'm gonna do the next one in frame. Okay, so as you see, I moved the gooseneck. I already applied that. You always wanna make sure you don't get too much product at the free edge because you could cause an allergic reaction. So it's just, kind of just guessing how much to apply on that tip so again we're gonna grab the tip brush on the nail glue to where you believe your nail bed will be and then you just scrape off that excess off the brush Ooh. Apply that at a 45 degree angle from your cuticle and then slightly push down and then cure under that gooseneck lamp. It's always easier with the gooseneck lamp. Now a lot of Duke Gel X kits do come with a tiny little lamp to cure it. But I purchased my gooseneck lamp on Amazon and I just think it's the best way to apply your Gel X nails. And as you see, I have no spillage on the cuticle area or that free edge. And that's how you apply them the correct way. My thumb, I accidentally lifted it a little bit before cure, curing fully. And this is what you don't do because you don't want no like air bubbles. But as you see, these are applied correctly. And now we're going to go ahead and put that pinky on. And just repeat that same process. Brush the nail glue where you think your nail bed will be. And then just scrape off a little bit of that product on the cuticle area. Apply at a 45 degree angle and slightly push down. And I always stop where I see my free edges. Because I don't want that product to like really go over that free edge. Because it can cause allergic reaction. Thankfully, I have not had any reaction to this product. 
I am using Beatles nail glue, the dupe nail gel X set. And now that that is applied, I'm gonna apply this hand and cure it for 60 seconds under the lamp. Okay, so now I'm just grabbing my, I already buffed out my nails and I'm grabbing my Pana nail drill bit and I am just really flushing that cuticle, the nail tip of the cuticle area, just flushing that as seamless as I can. And this will assure longevity of the Duke Gel Active. You don't want to go down, you want to go at a perfect angle because if you press, also if you press too much pressure, you're going to file too much off. So I kind of like just to work in a sh like small little sections at a time if that makes any sense. As you see, I'm not like going like this. I'm going at little sections at a time. I'm sorry, oh, I'm getting a little too close. And then I'm going to do that to all the nails. I feel like I haven't done this in so long because I've just been doing press-on nails. But I wanted to give you guys something a little different in this nail video. Can't wait to do some, some nails. We'll get, I am doing nails, but I can't get, I can't wait to get into the colors of House of Giving. Oh, see what I mean? Like, you have to be careful. You don't want to file off too much and then cause indentation. If that happens, just go slowly right over that. And yeah, let me finish this off camera. I apologize for zooming in too close. Let me finish this off camera again. Okay, so I have those nail tips on and prepped. And now, of course, I'm going to grab Madam Glam soak off base coat and i am i feel like i'm running low on these products and i'm so glad i did go ahead and order some base coat and top coat and then i ordered another gel polish from madam glam that i don't have that i've been wanting so i can't wait to get that package in the mail because i hate running low out of something i love and i absolutely love their base coat and top coat and I'm not saying that because I collaborate with them but because I really love both of these products the top coat it's really like mirror like you literally can see yourself with the top coat it's so shiny so I'm going ahead and curing this base coat i absolutely love this shape sometimes when i put press on nails i can't really file the sides down the way i like so i love when i apply the gel x tips and i can really uh, um file down to make the nails look more narrow on the sides so i love it okay now that we have our nails nice and prepped and ready to get into my nails into house of giving from madam glam and of course we're gonna start with pure nature because i am obsessed with this color and this is gonna be the first color i want to dip my nails in and i'm gonna do the whole thing on the pinky green because i am obsessed with this color is so beautiful and how pretty and I'm gonna cure that okay so I went ahead and applied two coats of that pure nature on the pinky and now I'm gonna grab this palette because I want to do like a French I gotta clean this I already can tell there's dust on this but I want to do like a French on this and some floral flowers some floral flowers some flowers on that now right now I am just 
cleaning this off of the dust that might be on this. So let's just hold that napkin over here. Now I'm gonna put some here. I definitely want to get into this astral pie. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this astral pie on this palette as well. Some of this Milky Way. Just a dollop. There you go. Some of this Astro Projection. And this is how I'm going to use majority of the colors by creating flowers with these colors. And then last, I'm gonna grab the purple era. All right, so first I'm gonna start with the French, Frenchy part of the nail and I'm gonna grab this long nail brush and I just feel like these are just the best when creating French nails maybe you just go higher um Maybe I should put like a, a nude base color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is apply a nude base color and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and applied a nude base color. And since it is not Madame Glam, I am not mentioning it. But if you want to know, let me know in the description below, I mean in the comments below, and I'll gladly tell you what nude base coat I was using. Like, look how beautiful that is. Oh, this green is just so beautiful. Sometimes Frenchies are like the hardest thing to achieve because you want to make sure you get that line work perfected. And sometimes you can go over and over and over and you're like, no. And then you think it looks good and then you see it at a different angle and you're like, yeah, no, this doesn't look good. <laughs> do you guys know what I mean? I feel like when I do... um. Frenchies on the press press on nail sets they're always a little easier than actually doing it on myself uh, I feel like I haven't really done my nails on my myself for a while um, that looks good and so I'm just gonna cure that hold on let me fix this line up a little bit Don't be like me, I literally use my fingertips for like the clean off the gel polish. Don't do that please because you could cause an allergic reaction. But I'm gonna cure that right now. <laughs> Don't be like me, but look how beautiful that looks. That looks so beautiful. So let me cure that. Okay, now that is cured. I'm gonna grab a few nail brushes to create different flowers i'm gonna grab this one that i have to create a bigger i guess oh let me you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna blend kind of see if that works the way i want it to 
and I'm going to yeah that looks pretty Sorry if I'm not in frame. Okay, so there's one. I'm gonna cure that. And I did go ahead and use Purple Era and Milky Way together. And how I did that was, hold on, let me try. I'm curing with one hand and trying to show you on the other hand and my camera just won't focus. But as you see, I just dapped it in both and kind of did half and half, sort of. <laughs> okay, look how pretty that is. Now I'm going to grab my dotting tool and I want to create like, maybe not my dotting tool, now that I think of it. I'm gonna grab this thin one Grab, go ahead and grab some of this. Hold on. Oh, ow. I'm gonna grab some of this Astro Pie and I'm going to create lines. Right here. I'm gonna create some more right here it's gonna you know just put flowers kind of everywhere cure that I'm gonna clean that brush because I do want to get into that blue with the same brush well no I think I want to get into the blue with my dotting tool so I'm curing that for 30 seconds okay now i'm gonna get into the blue and i'm gonna just put dots and what i'm gonna do is just kind of drag it down like so and I'm gonna cure that and I'm gonna also apply a little bit of that Milky Way. And as you see, create like a little flower. How cute is that? super cute and then I'm gonna cure that okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of this pure nature again and I'm gonna create like a line like so and then like fl not flowers leaves and look how cute that is I'm gonna cure that now okay so in the middle what we're gonna do go in that pure nature again and apply it all over the nail and I think I want to create a whole floral nail with this so it's okay if you get your whole nail I mean your skin you could easily grab like a flathead brush dip in it a little bit in acetone but not too much and then just clean it off. And then I'm gonna cure this. 
okay now that we have that done we're gonna do the same exact thing grab these two polishes and just create flowers everywhere I love this two-tone flower I love it so much and it looks so good on that green How beautiful is this oh my gosh I am obsessed so this nail brush I did get from a nail supply store here in town um, it is from that website um, don't know if they have it I don't know the name of it so I'm just creating them where I want them to be sorry if it doesn't get in focus or if I lose focus. I love that so much. Um, I wish I can create them a little smaller. Let me see if I could create one that's smaller. It's kind of harder because this brush is bigger. gonna cure that and then of course do the other flowers okay let's see if I can do this blue one the same <laughs> like I did so let's just put a whole bunch of little different dots it's okay if you go over like the other flowers I'm just kind of putting it everywhere. I don't really have a specific um, placement. Just where I think will look good. And then I'm gonna grab the brush again and kind of just get everything in the middle. Then cure that. Okay, and then we're going right again into Milky Way to give those blue flowers some depth. Okay, cure that real quickly. Clean that brush. Okay, and now we're gonna do those orange flowers. like something is missing 
Hmm. What can I do to finish this off? Maybe. Okay, gives it some character. We like character. Let's cure that real quick. And I think I'm going to get into Autumn Aura, Aura as well, just to fill that those gaps. Okay, so I put a little bit of that Autumn Aura on the palette. And I'm just going to create like little dots. Around the flowers that's cute so since I did that I'm gonna do the same thing here so much okay and now I'm gonna do this that base nude base color again and kind of do something similar on that nail as well okay so again I have that base color base color base color down <laughs> and I'm just gonna move this real quick because I want to also try to use this for reels so I gotta get everything out of the way so way I can frame just this this is always the hardest part when I'm trying to record for YouTube and trying to do for reels and then like you try to get the angles corrected making sure that it is clear and visible. And of course that line is not correct. Good thing for editing. Okay, and now we're just gonna cure that. Okay, and we're gonna go again into those colors again. Making sure we have them on the brush. And instead, I'm gonna put them at the corner, the petals. To that astral pine gonna just go right ahead and do the blue flowers as well
secure that. Okay, and we're gonna go in with this autumn aura to just do the dots, and we're gonna do the dots right here. And how cute is that? And now we're gonna cure it. And now I'm gonna paint the thumb green and finish the set. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna apply a top coat. Of course, Madam Glam, no wipe top coat. And that's how we finish off with every nail set. As I'm looking at the pinky and the thumb, I'm like, oh, I wanna do something to it. Like always, I'm never satisfied with just a plain nail. I have to always create something. <sighs> I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can never have like just one solid color nail. I'm always like, I need to do something to it. I love this Madam Top Coat so much and cannot wait till I get a new bottle because I am running so low on this bottle i can't wait till my order gets in i always like to have backup before i run out completely out of a product and look how beautiful let's cure that all right now that that top coat is applied look how beautiful this set came out and like always we finish off the set with some cuticle oil. This is to make sure your nails are staying nourish and help promote healthy nails. This is like such an important step to do on a daily basis. But I am obsessed. I love the way they came out. This collection is so beautiful. The colors are so beautiful and fun. You just wipe the nail off. So beautiful, so fun. And don't forget that you can get 35% off with my, with my coupon code down below in the description. And I am obsessed. Also, make sure you press that bell button so you'll see when I drop my next nail video on my non-dominant hand. Because... It is time to wrap it up and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.